Hello guys, welcome back to Titans Fan TV. We've got a free game matchup here between the Laura Hawks and the Cairns Titans down in Wollongong. I'm with the Win Entertainment Centre that'll start today at 6.30 Australian Standard Time and you can catch that on ESPN or SBS On Demand. Right now we're ducking to the starting lineup, the projected starting lineups, prospected starting lineup, sorry. Um, Look, I've, I've got the Hawks going with the Triple Bs. Okay, they've always had Brooks coming off the bench, but I think, you know, with with them not getting a win the last two games, with the Taipans not getting a win as well, I think both teams are going to go all out here. And I think Taipans will start Cameron Oliver and Nate Jawai. Um, I don't think Majuk Deng has been really producing um, whether he plays the four or the five spot. So I think maybe coming off the bench, playing stretch four, five in, in an interchangeable position. I think that might be a bit more beneficial. Um, but look, in the in the question mark down the bottom, DJ Newville, is he going to be active? Is he going to be active? We know that last game he sat on the sidelines in Brisbane, um, apparently with a shoulder injury. But um, yeah, I'm not too sure. It's up to the management and the coaches there what they want to do. But you know, I, I, I had my thoughts last week. Look, key points for today's game is both, both teams are looking for a win. Um, I think both teams have come off games where they thought they could have won those games and they've let themselves down and, and basically shot themselves in the foot and gave up a loss. Um, and it, basically the, the Brisbane Bullets game to the Hawks in the same pit, that was a winnable game for them, definitely. The same thing for us, our home game was a winnable game for us against the Kings. So I think... You know, Illawarra will come out strong and it will definitely rely on the Mellow Ball and Aaron Brooks' as opportunities. Okay, like I said, in the starting lineups, I think Brooks will get the start. Um, he's still trying to feel his way throughout the league, I think. He, he's been picking up some, you know, cheap fouls and he's showing his frustration and picking up a few texts. So, I think today is the game where they will find their rhythms. Um, but the Mellow Ball, he's shooting isn't as good as what I thought it would be. Um, he's got the range, I mean, by all means, he can make the shot, but playing at this high level, um, it really does, you know, show how consistent you do need to knock a jump shot down. Um, but his playmaking ability, his defensive ability, athleticism, it, it's A1. He, he's probably one of the better players in the league, and at the age of 18, it's crazy to say that. Third on the list, will DJ Newbill be active? Look, I think that well, I hope not. The type fans are looking at shopping him. Um, you know, it could come down to a, a shoulder injury, but if he had a shoulder injury, you would have to go through fitness tests, and and you know, wouldn't have been able to be able to travel with the team to Brisbane and then to Illawarra. Um, so you know, it could be something like that. Um, I hope it's not. He is their captain, um, but from looking at what happened on. Um, Friday against Brisbane, I think Nathan Jawa was a lot more active and vocal and showed he, he's, a, he's the leader of the team, you know, because he is, you know, Nathan's basically a vet, um, but he is probably one of our better players and yeah, probably one of the better centres in the league. Um, his fitness has really come a long way. I think that he's really taken steps towards benefiting himself for the future. Um, but look, I think type in second half will really have to depend on how we win this game as well Look, we can come out strong we can come out and do anything we can in the first half but the second half we need to back it up defensively keep that tone um, keep making shots and you know staying consistent throughout the game um, but the fourth quarter I think that it will be a big big fourth quarter you know uh, the third, third quarter will be a sort of missing quarter I reckon a lot of misses will come in the third quarter, but the fourth quarter will come around. It'll be a tight game. But look, we'll get into some predictions now. My predictions, I've got the tight fans by three today. I think we're going to make it rain from deep today. Um, quite annoying, Murphy Jerick. They're both straight shooters. They're both proven shooters now, I think. They're both going to have to show their stuff against the Mellow Ball and Aaron Brooks and Todd Blanchfield because they got shooters as well. We're going to have to knock down shots as well as they are. So I think that will be important. Um, Machado will lead the way with the points. I think, you know, with the type ends culture, we've always had 
our point guards being our best player so I think that he'll top score and Jawai to come up with a big game I think if DJ Newville's going to be out he's going to have to step up as a leader and he'll show that statistically 12 points over 8 boards over 5 assists but you know what could happen is Lamella Ball could come out and just have a field day against us and drop a triple double I mean the other week he was you know pretty close he's shown potential to get there and I think sorry to say but we are the team he could do it against um, especially at home with all the fans they're chasing a win they're going to be backing themselves a lot um, and Aaron Brooks could come alive as well um, he could find his group defensively he could knock down a few shots get to the free throw line a lot more and be really effective but look that's going to be all from me today I'll talk to you guys after the game like I said 6.30 watch it on SBS On Demand or ESPN down in Wollongong let's go the mighty type end talk to you guys after the game